what does start the weekend? Uh, obviously, first one of the season. Uh, just getting that monkey off your back for this team. Uh, just how you, how are you guys feeling? Uh, just being leader out there. Just how was the overall experience? Uh, it's great. You know, a lot of excitement. We came out, just played hard, and it's a great feeling to get started. You know, Hudson. Uh, last year, you were a freshman. Didn't have a ton of playing time on varsity. Coming out starting tonight, got a lot of clutch time last week as well. How did it feel to get out there? Uh, had the confidence that Coach Brewster's put in you to get out there and start. Did that make a difference in the way you played tonight? Um, yeah, I felt like that was my spot the whole time, though, to be honest. Like, I thought that I had earned that position, and he put me in there. And I'd... You performed certainly well tonight. I don't, I don't have the stats here. Uh, Coach LJ hadn't gotten them to us yet, but... Uh, you had a couple big threes there, a lot of defensive stuff. How many blocks do you have out there tonight? Uh, I think it's three or four. I don't know. I had three on my count, so I hope it's yeah, four. It's I hope I'm wrong on that three. one. Yeah, just uh, going into halftime, I know you guys had held the lead. Uh, just what was Coach telling you guys? Was it already changes uh, fundamentally, or was it just kind of uh, smooth sailing from there? No, we were sticking to the same game plan, just locking them up on defense and getting that rolling on offense. Is switching up starting lineups, switching up the rotations that you're running, is that something Coach Brewster has talked to you all about, or is that something we're just going to see on the fly, or what? Uh, I think it's something that's just going to happen. You know, we don't really have any set lineups. We just have a lot of guys, you know. Uh, we can just rotate whenever, and that's what I like about this team. We don't have really a set group, you know. Right. Uh, and that's interesting to see. It was something that you threw at him differently tonight. The press was really working in the first half. Uh, what did Coach Brewster have to say about that, either during halftime or after the game? Would he, would he say anything about any of the presses? Uh, you know, it's just always talking about getting after them and, like, we're going to be pressing them, so we want to, like, create turnovers with that. You know, we're not just doing it for no reason. I get after them. Okay. Next one's for Hudson there. Hudson, you uh, you brought the ball up a lot tonight. Really ran a lot of point position, which kind of freed Drew up a lot to be a creator and more of a small forward or shooting guard. Is that something that you would that you enjoy doing that this evening, to be, have an opportunity to help create for your teammates? Because it also opened up some shots for you. Yeah, I like playing point a lot. Like me and Drew, both of us, we can run point guard. So it's just like whoever can run it will still be the same play. Get more shots open for everyone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was going to just piggyback off of that. Just um, yeah, a lot of guys were involved tonight. Uh, just how would you feel? Uh, how, what does that do for your confidence when you know you can rely on your teammates to, to get a quick bucket? You know, it helps a lot. Like assists and stuff like that just – there's a lot of excitement on the bench and everything, and on the court, too. Talk about some of your teammates who uh, maybe didn't get a lot of playing time last game. Uh, Peyton Oliver, one's coming to mind. Talk, talk about the impact that Peyton had out there this evening, getting some reps out there, and the, kind of the confidence boost that you get from going from middle of the bench to starting. And that, what, what does that do for you all as players? And then talk a little bit about Peyton, if you would. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was talking to Peyton before the game, and he had a lot of excitement coming into a starting position this game. Uh, and he was great. I mean, just brought a lot of energy, new energy that we didn't have, just crashing the board, stuff like that. And it's real nice to have people you can rely on, you know, just if you get tired, we got, like, the same group coming in, so no difference. I know you guys have a long break uh, before Sweetwater. Just yeah. how you guys stay focused and, and keep this energy up uh, between those long, that long period of time where you guys aren't playing. Uh, we just got to lock in at practice. If we do that, then everything will be fine. Something you guys uh, didn't do tonight was, like, take your foot off the gas. You guys stayed with them pretty much the whole time. You didn't let them claw back. And they were fighting there at the end of the third quarter to try to get back in it. But you guys came out and clamped them down there to start the fourth. Is that something that Brewster has talked to you all about uh, in, in practice, in the locker room, in timeouts? Is that what's going on over there? Yeah, that's what we want to be, like a really good defensive team attacking everyone and getting easy, fast break. Are y'all feeling tired? Y'all played a fast-paced, up-tempo ball game, a lot of pressing, a lot of trapping, a lot of fun to watch, for the record. Uh, are y'all tired this evening? Yeah. I mean, I'm good. I think we play another game. Slim Reaper out here, ready yeah. to play another game. We condition hard, you know, it's summertime, so we're ready. Yeah. Okay. You guys got anything you want to add to anybody? Final comments? Final comments from you all. No. Incorrect. The final comment no from Panthers. Me. That's right.